How do you feel tonight's meeting went? I think the meeting was as you would expect, but um, it was interesting. I think there's a little more pushback from the NRC now, and I believe it's because the public is becoming more involved, and we're not letting them just get away with the easy answers. Uh, it didn't seem scripted, where a lot of NRC meetings, it sounds like they already practiced the answers and questions, and now they're just putting it on for a stage, you know, to, go, to make it look like they're actually questioning the industry but I think it's getting better uh, but it has to get better a lot faster than it is and there's so much at stake that uh, we just have to keep raising these issues until the public becomes so aware of it that they just think no we're not going to do that anymore you know it's time to close it down it's old it's on a fault line and in a tsunami zone and we've seen what could happen in Japan it's no longer a theory that's our reality we got to deal with it so that's how do you feel about the 70 percent power I think it's ridiculous I, they don't know what the results will be of the changes they're proposing so they're suggesting that the computer models that they used that failed them in the past have been modified now they have so much confidence in them that they trust the output of the computer model to say that we can run it at 70%. But there's a really good question asked in there. It's about how do we know if it's failing? And there's no way when it's operating to know if it's going to fail. You only know that radiation is coming out of it. So there is no test. What the answer from Edison was, was the answer as if you could shut it down and take a look at it and look for trouble that might happen in the future. But he didn't answer the real question. That was. You only know there's a problem when radiation comes out of it. And that's what they're experimenting with. They're saying, let's run it at 70% and see what happens. Well, you know what? It could be much worse than what happened the first time. So it's just totally unnecessary, unacceptable. Why do you think the business owners were so willing to take the risk, the people that live in the area that were willing to stand up and they were so eager to have the thing back online? Yeah, I think there's codependency and one has to exist for the other and they have 30 or 40 years of working together where Edison works with the community, they'll help you know, give the boys and girls $100,000 a year or they'll give the art community 100000 a year or people will become accustomed to that money coming in and they'll create budgets based on that and people's livelihoods depend on it and so it's really hard to say uh, no we don't want your money anymore and so they protect them and they say preposterous things like, oh, we have to know that we have reliable sources of energy and electricity because our businesses depend on it. Well, you know what? They just went through 11 months of no nuclear power, no blackouts, and what's the question? I mean, that question might have made sense before the steam generators shut it down, but now we have proof. You know, we don't need to think hypothetically anymore, and that's a ridiculous question that they just put out there because they want to show Edison we're on your side you know that's that's the motive behind it I think